The relationship between China and the United States is a rich one, spanning decades. A key part of that history was written in New York in January of 1996 with the creation of the China Chamber of Commerce USA to promote investment, business cooperation and trade between the two countries. When we start in New York, you know, uh, for the CGCC USA at that time, each uh, region pretty much was on its own. That changed in September of 2005 with the active participation of the CCC. The China General Chamber of Commerce USA was born to promote the healthy development of China-U.S. trade, investment, and business cooperation. At that time, we say, hey, now we finally have uh, uh, one name and one brand one flag, so that's good, so we can consolidate the whole United States. There were several milestones in the early years. Yuan Ning of China Construction America arrived as chair in 2011. I always consider CGCC as my baby. But he wanted his baby to grow into what it's become today, with a headquarters in New York and a full-time staff, so fundraising was essential. Uh, the first scholar is a very important uh, milestone, of course. Important because it raised more than a million dollars. The annual event is a key fundraiser, but it's designed to do much more than that. We hold uh, every year annual gala to introduce our China's uh, culture to American people. I think uh, the exchange of a culture is uh, very important. Uh, that way, uh, both countries uh, or both uh, countries, uh, business people, consumers uh, or citizens uh, can strengthen the mutual trust mutual understanding, mutual communication between each other. The CGCC should be an impactful organization in both China and the U.S. So they are the uh, ambassador to, you know, to promote relationship and, you know, friendship between two countries. For me personally, I'm quite optimistic because for U.S. and China, we are so closely tied together. Individual chapters all across the country offer unique opportunities for members. The Select USA reception was hosted at the Wharf in Washington, D.C. in June of 2019. CGCC aims to enhance cooperation through dialogue between the U.S. and the Chinese business community. Chamber members from across the country were here to listen and learn and to connect with one another. That's why so many are marveling at the impact the chamber is having. And I have to tell you how impressed I am at how far they have come over a very short period of time. As we uh, sit here, uh, there are a dozen deals that are being discussed, and I hope that they are all profitable. It's networking and knowledge members can't find anywhere else. It's a, a touch point that without it, what do you do? You just pick up the phone and call somebody? No. no. So, that's why this Chamber of Commerce is such an important, vital part of you know, both sides. They put on roughly almost, I think, about 100 events throughout the year, but they really have worked hard over the course of the last several years to build the organization, to really give its members and the community the best resources and the best information uh, and the best opportunities to really do what's being done here today, which is being, bringing people both from China and from the United States together. While the chamber introduces members to key leaders in the U.S., they also build those same bridges in the direction of China. The chamber helped host Vice Premier Wang Yong during his visit to Washington in 2016. The work of the China General Chamber of Commerce is necessary, maybe now more than ever. Another strength of the CGCC is the work on the sub-national level. The chamber was instrumental in the success of the U.S.-China Governors Collaboration Summit in Kentucky in May of 2019. Sub-national leaders from both countries and 400 representatives from business and government were on hand for this event. CGCC played an instrumental role in the success of that governor's forum, that governor's summit. The chamber tears down walls while building bridges between both countries. This is about creating opportunity for the citizens of our respective nations, the citizens of the world. That's a powerful responsibility and not one the chamber takes lightly as it hits its 15 year anniversary. It's now focusing on the future. It's a bright one, one of cooperation and collaboration, helping people from both countries. The CGCC and its member companies are always committed to building a bridge of friendship and cooperation 
between Chinese and American companies and peoples. You name it, there is virtually nothing that doesn't involve our two countries working together. While it would be easy for the CGCC to bask in its early success, it's too busy being laser focused on the future. It's using its online platform to grow its eConnex program, which enables companies to share reports, webinars, and other tools to educate and benefit members. The Chamber is also supporting the next generation of leaders with the CGCC Young Fellowship Program as it continues to grow. The CGCC can be the, the bridge in the past, today, and also in the future. Influential. Look at the growth. Powerful. The platform for communication. Organizations such as this, they give that encouragement and enlightenment and those good stories to say, you know, this is why we're here and come along with us on this ride.